the massive broadcast booth at Yankee Stadium in New York. Mike Bordick joins us now. Mike, tell us your thoughts on what Jeremy Hellickson, right before he gave up the first three-run homer, it looked like he may have hurt his side a little bit there, and Buck Showalter left him into the game, and moments later there was one going out of the ballpark. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah, he was stretching his back a little bit. He had just got done uh, a walk in the batter, and uh, there was a mound visit. And everybody said, well, I guess he's okay. And uh, next thing you know, it's a three-run home run. But uh, then he went back out the next inning and gave up another three-run home run. So I don't know if he wasn't able to finish his pitches, but something was bothering him on the backside. I mean, you uh, admire the fact that he wants to stay in a ball game, but if he's banged up, uh, look what this Yankee team does to uh, healthy pitchers. So uh, making a mistake there, uh, they are not missing mistakes right now. And uh, it doesn't matter really who's on the hill. They are swinging it. The Yankees are hitting against the Orioles here at Yankee Stadium. The numbers are unbelievable, and every mistake is getting walloped. Mike, uh, you know, over the last couple of years, the Orioles uh, batters have really gotten a lot better against left-handed pitching. But today, uh, Jordan Montgomery completely shut the Orioles offense down. All the hits that he gave up, which was only four, and all of them were singles today. What did you see out of him today that made him so tough? Well, first of all, there isn't a lot of confidence going around right now in the Orioles offense. I mean, uh, they're having a hard time. But Montgomery, he's 6'6", and he really creates a steep angle, especially on his breaking balls. And that's what was giving the Orioles a hard time early on in the ball game. There's a lot of swing and misses. And uh, you know, Rick, uh, when, when a pitcher has a good breaking ball with a good finish, he's going to go to it. When he got to two strikes, that was his bread and butter. And he was relentless with the big breaking ball, had good command of his fastball as well. And this is one of his better starts in the second half. So you go with a, a lineup that's not very confident and a pitcher that's trying to uh, get through the second half of the season. He got on a nice little roll early. A couple swing and misses helped his confidence grow and uh, the Orioles' confidence stayed down. He just did not let them up. Well, Mike, it seems like you're in complete agreement with Rick Dempsey on pitching philosophies and what has been going wrong there, what has been going right for the New York Yankees. Mike Bordick, we appreciate it. Chat with you tomorrow afternoon when the Orioles conclude the four-game series in New York.